In this video, we will be going over how to install the torque lift wire harness for the Chevy Bolt. If you are installing without needing to remove the bumper for your hitch, skip to the time listed above. For a bumper removal hitch, you'll want to start by removing the two clips under the rear bumper. Unfasten the two bolts on the corners of the bumper cover located under the vehicle. Remove two torque screws on the driver and passenger side rear wells. Open the tailgate and remove the two bolts just above the reflectors. On each side of the vehicle, unsnap the rear of the fender arch trim by pulling it away from the vehicle to expose a small screw at the top of the bumper cover. Remove the screw. You will also see a fastener that needs to be removed as well. Starting on each end of the bumper cover, unsnap the bumper cover and pry it away from the car. Disconnect the wire harness connected to the car. The plug can be released by lifting the gray latch bar. Unfasten the top two nuts and remove the black plastic harness bracket. Remove the remaining nuts and cross member. Lift the hitch into place and center it on the car. Place the factory cross member over the receiver hitch and reinstall the black plastic harness bracket. Reinstall the factory nuts from earlier to loosely secure everything in place, then torque everything to the proper specs. To start the wiring process, release the rear lighting harness from the driver's side of the factory cross member. Locate the turn signal wires by opening the factory conduit and testing the wires with your turn signals on. The driver's turn signal wire should be blue and white, with the passenger's side being blue and purple. Once you have verified the turn signal power wires, cut each wire and strip the ends to 3 eighths of an inch. Grab the supplied green, yellow, and brown wires from the kit, strip them 3 eighths of an inch as well. 
Then, twist the bare end of one of the cut driver's turn signal wire together with the supplied yellow wire, and insert it into one of the splice connectors and crimp it. Insert the other end of the cut driver's turn signal wire into the splice connector and crimp it. Twist the bare end of one of the cut passenger's turn signal wire with the supplied green wire. Insert one end into a splice connector and crimp it. Next, trim the other end of the supplied yellow and green wires. Strip and crimp the added yellow wire to yellow turn signal wire of the tail light converter. Strip and crimp one end of the supplied brown wire to the brown wire of the tail light converter. Leave the brown wire at its full length until connecting it to the harness behind the passenger side tail light. Strip the end of the white wire of the double conductor wire. Use a heat source on all splice connectors used on the exterior of the vehicle. Secure your wiring and tubing with electrical tape. Attach a tail light converter to the cross tube of the eco hitch or the inside vertical surface of the factory cross member using the supplied double back tape pad. Trim the green, yellow, red, white and black wires supplied with the tail light converter. Connect one end of the supplied brown wire to the brown wire of the tail light converter. The other end of the supplied brown wire will go through the rear air vent and behind the interior passenger side panel. Run the supplied brown wire through one of the air vents and along the inside of the storage well inside the car and up behind the interior passenger or driver side compartment. Strip the ends of the white and red tail light module wires. Twist the bare ends together and crimp them into one end of a splice connector. The white double conductor wire previously stripped will get crimped into the other end of the splice connector.
strip and crimp the supplied green wire and the yellow wire to the corresponding green and yellow wires on the tail light module. Strip and crimp the red and white tail light converter wires to the white double conductor wire. Strip and crimp the black tail light converter wire to the black double conductor wire. Secure the conduit onto the trailer plug wires. Next, we are going to route the double conductor wire harness. Start from the top of the driver's side rear fender well and down the underside of the driver's underbody.
The supplied P-clip can be used along with the self-tapping screw to secure the double insulated wire going over the moving parts of the rear suspension. Use wire ties to secure the wiring harness to the underside of the vehicle about every 8 inches. When you reach the driver's front wheel area, route this harness up the firewall or bulkhead into the area of the 12-volt battery under the hood. Be mindful that the wires won't be in contact with any moving, hot, or sharp vehicle body components. Strip the tips of both double conductor wire ends and the wires on the supplied fuse holder. Split and remove about 12 inches of the gray outer insulation from the end of the double conductor wire. Crimp the ring terminals to the stripped end of the white wire of the double conductor wire and one end of the fuse holder wire. Connect the black wire of the double conductor wire and the other end of the fuse holder with a splice connector. Remove the underhood fuse box cover, and with the fuse removed from the supplied fuse holder, carefully attach it to the fuse holder. Remove the fastener on the negative side of the battery and add the ring terminal that was crimped to the white double connector wire under the fastener and retighten. Remove the nuts from the positive supply connection on the fuse panel. Add the ring terminal under the nut and retighten. Add the small split plastic conduit to the negative and positive battery connection wires.
With the hatch open, remove the interior floor panels. Remove the rear hatch threshold panel by pulling it up and towards the front of the vehicle. Remove the attachments in the rear of the interior side panel on the passenger or driver side of the rear storage area. Now that all of the electrical connections are made, install the 15 amp fuse in the holder. Check for proper operation of each signal at the trailer plug. Cut and strip both ends of the vehicle tail light signal wire which should be purple and white. Twist a stripped end of the supplied brown wire together with one of the white and purple striped wires and crimp into one side of a splice connector. Crimp the other side of the white and purple wire into the other end of the same splice connector. The trailer plug signal wires will be as follows. Green is right turn, yellow is left turn, brown is your tail lights and white is your ground. This install was done on a 2022 model. The application will have some slight variations for a 2023 model. Starting from each end, snap the bumper cover back into place. Reattach the harness connector between the bumper cover and the vehicle. Reattach the bumper harness retainer to the cross member. Reinstall all remaining hardware in the reverse order of removal.
This video is a guide for visual reference. Please always refer to our instructions when installing Torqueflip's products, for they are updated regularly. For any questions, visit our website or give us a call at 800-246-8132.